Welcome to Tabletop Island. I'm Bernardo Rodriguez and today we're going to be doing a couple updates here. The first, I'm going to start with what I talked about last week, 3D printer. I got it up and running, but I haven't had a successful print yet, so I have a lot of work to do. It's very stressful, but I went in knowing that and I understood that my first print won't be the greatest and I'm getting there. I haven't had as much time to kind of focus on that as I'd like to, but I will be getting there and probably by the next update, I will have something working for us because I have a good amount of time on my hands um, for these next few days here. I really wanna talk about games that I've been playing last month, so for August. Uh, highlight games for me. While I can't keep up with reviews on some of these games, I want to at least talk about some of the games I'm excited for. While I'm not teaching you that, guys these games, you can look for yourself, look at the instructions and be like, this is the kind of game for me. So I'll talk about some titles, explain them a little bit, and tell you what I'm excited about. Let's talk about the first one that made me lose a lot of breath here. That would be Throw Throw Burrito. Uh, you're not going to get this big inflatable one because that's the outside version and I have yet to play that but it was hilarious to inflate and I laugh every time I look at it. Uh, the original game will come with a foam burrito which you will play kind of a dodgeball card game. It is a lot. In fact, I was out of breath. Everyone we played with was sweating to death. It was a lot. The game is awesome, I recommend taking a look at it, but man, if you aren't ready to have a complete workout for a board game, that's not the game for you. Uh, another game I had been playing that was a big highlight, Downforce. Now I'm not going to tell you some of the add-ons I have for it because I will in the review and on my Twitter once I finish it, but there's some cool add-ons for the game to make it a little bit better that I have for it. Not so much that changed the game, but create kind of a theme for it, but I'm not going to get too far into that. Uh, the game itself, when I first saw it, I was like, man, a racing game, not interested. Not even gonna look at it. I understand Restoration Games does it, but I'm still not gonna look at it because I'm that kind of person. I've been getting better, I promise. Because Euro games also look whack every time I look at them and then I play them and they look amazing. Anyways, the game itself is a racing game, but it's not so much you racing the car as it is you bidding and you trying to see who you think is gonna win. I'm gonna bid on this guy because I think he's gonna be in the head and I think I can push him farther along with some of the cards that you have to race. Very excited. I'll be talking more about that game soon. I actually pushed that review up a little bit um, sooner because I'm a very big fan of it. The other and final highlight game I want to talk about was Campy Creatures. Uh, this game I had been um, eyeing at um, since Gen Con, since before Gen Con, um, before I knew. Uh, that was kind of the big game that really pushed me to saying, all right, I'm going to go hurry up, go there just to get this game because this was the only game I knew I needed to walk out with. If I didn't, I would have been really sad. It is a competitive card game involving these amazing looking monsters and the game itself is fantastic. I think the right amount of trying to get into your opponent's head is just so, it's so satisfying. It's very simple, easy to teach, um, but those are the three games that were a big highlight for uh, the month of August. Uh, I will be kind of doing more of these uh, towards the beginning of the month prior. Um, just to kind of keep things a little more interesting and because I can't always review obviously I'm reviewing four a month, you know one every week um, for just the regular reviews I can't get to everything and I like to talk about some of the ones I'm playing Especially ones I'm excited about because I want you guys to get them in your hands as soon as possible And you don't have to wait on my commercial because all I'm doing is hyping up the game um, but that is all I have for you guys today. If you are interested in notifications, though, there is a bell up there somewhere. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate any feedback. I've been making these videos more and more outrageous thanks to you guys, and I do appreciate all of the support. Please, uh, again, uh, Monday, regular board game reviews. Uh, Wednesday, weekly updates slash talks. And then on Friday is my vintage board game reviews. That is actually all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys next time.